Welcome back to Brent's Hang, I'm Brent Barnett. Today we are talking about the foundation of all racks, and it's the GCS302C. So yesterday we're talking about the GCS302C. This is a front curved rack, which is 30 inches tall and 46 inches wide. Now, this is great for those of you guys that don't necessarily want to mount a lot of stuff. Maybe you've got a couple toms, two or three cymbals that you just need to set up and you want to get them off stands, but you don't want a three-sided rack. This is perfect for that because it'll just hang right over the bass drum and then you're done. You've combined everything. But for those of you that want to make a larger setup, this serves as the foundation, as the base of your rack system because then you can just expand to as large of a kit as you need to off of this rig. So I'm gonna show you guys a few different ways on how this rack works with a six piece rig, a seven piece kit. I'm gonna show the bar, uh, the, the, the rack setup on side racks in different configurations. I'm gonna customize it a little bit to show you all the options that Gibraltar has for you with this rig. So here we have the GCS302C, set up in a stock configuration right out of the box. I'm gonna go over the parts with you guys so um, you kinda know what, come, what, you, what you're in for. So we have right at the very bottom the large chrome T-leg assemblies. We have two of them. It's the SC GCS QC LT LA. Say that five times really fast, there you go. Next we have two 30 inch vertical bars, the SC GPR 30s. And they're fitted with the RMAA attachments right at the top so that you can mount cymbal arms directly out of your legs, which is really cool. We have a 46 inch crossbar that'll allow you to put um, you know, two to three toms up there. You can mount a couple cymbals off of it, some splashes, whatever you need. Also comes with two right angle clamps with two hinged memory locks. Last but not least, too many cymbal booms. All right, so here's the GCS302C with stock configuration. There was nothing added except for a hi-hat stand, a snare stand, and two tom arms. So I've got my main crash mounted out of, the, out of the left front leg. I've got my ride cymbal mounted out of the right front leg. Then I've got two rack toms, 10 and 12, mounted directly to the crossbar. Then of course, 14, 16 floor tom on my right hand side. Um, I've got a snare stand holding up my snare and a three leg hi-hat stand for my hi-hat. And this is what it can look like with your kit right out of the box without having to add too much extra hardware. Okay, so now that we've seen it set up in a stock formation, let's add a few more things to it and see some more capabilities this rack has. So here's the GCS302C just past the stock configuration. I added a few more parts, so now it's no longer just stock. I've got a right main crash that I added and I used the SC LBBT to mount it off the crossbar because it's a little bit longer. Then I added a 10 inch splash right off the main crossbar use the SC SBBT. I didn't need a whole bunch of extra space, so I used a short boom. So for the hi-hat and the snare stand, I chose to go with a legless option for both. On the snare stand, what I did was I used the stealth configuration that we have on the stealth rack. For the, for the snare part of it, I have the GSMTL, which is a mini T-leg with the ultra just snare basket. Then I connected that to the front leg of the rack with the GPRS bar, the, the stealth bent bar, the bar that has that little funky bump in it that allows you to go over a double pedal arm. Then for the hi-hat, I used the legless hi-hat stand, the 9707 NLDP, and I just connected it directly to the front leg of the rack using the SCEA100, which is the extension arm with the multi-angle multi-clamp at the very end. All right, so now let's turn the six-piece kit into a seven-piece kit. So here's the rack used in a seven piece kit. Now I just added an eight inch tom and I also added another splash because you gotta have another splash if you have room for it. So now to this, this, this one rack is supporting three rack toms, two crashes, one ride cymbal, two splashes, and then I've got a no leg hi-hat stand and a no leg snare stand mounted directly to the rack. So another scenario is a front curved rack won't contain your entire rig. You guys, got, you guys have too much stuff to mount to just one front curved rack. You need a side extension. Well, 
The GCS 150C is perfect for that. It's a 40 inch curve bar with a 30 inch vertical leg and it attaches right to the front leg of the rack. So let's check it out when you turn your kit into a two sided rack. Okay, so I added the GCS 150C side extension to the front curved rack. Now keep in mind, I kept everything that was on the front curved rack there. The three rack toms, two crashes, ride, two splashes, and a walla walla bing bang. What I added was an X hat and an effects crash, and then a china. The X hat, I had to use an extra clamp that I, that I had to pull out of my inventory in order to put on. And then uh, the effects crash, I mounted directly out of the clamp that comes with the side extension. And then the china mounts directly out of the back leg. Okay, next scenario. So let's say a two-sided rack isn't large enough for whatever your rig is. It can't contain your rig. You need a three-sided rack. So let's add another GCS 150C to the hi-hat side so that we have more room to mount more stuff. So now I have a full three-sided rack. I added another GCS 150C to the hi-hat side of the kit and it enabled me to add four more things to my setup which I didn't have the ability to before without adding stands. I added another crash symbol directly to the crossbar. I added a 14 inch auxiliary snare directly to the crossbar. I added a percussion tray for all of my mixers and doodats and didgeridoos and well actually didgeridoo won't fit on there. But then I also added a china right out of the back leg. So now I've got a full three-sided rack, but you know what, That's just this is just one of the things that you can do with the GCS 302C. It's there's a number of different ways it can be customized to fit your needs. Okay, so here is another scenario, but it's quite different than all the other scenarios that we've seen. Now the GCS 302C is utilized as a side rack. I've got one on my hi-hat side and I have one on my floor tom side. Now I'm using two of them so that I can basically split this rig in half. There's nothing connecting the two sides together. So let's have a look at how I have everything mounted. I'm using a few different symbols on this setup just, uh, just to spice it up a bit. So on my hi-hat side, I'm starting with my china in the back leg. I'm mounted directly out of the back leg. I've got my percussion tray that's mounted directly off the crossbar. Then my left auxiliary crash is off the crossbar. My hi-hat stand is mounted directly to the crossbar as well. It's no longer coming off the front leg of the rack. Now my main crash is coming out of the front leg of this rack. So my 10 inch rack tom, this is much different. I have it mounted to the front leg of of the GCS 302C, it's mounted horizontally off of it. I had to change the tom arm because I needed a little bit longer extension, so I'm using the SC LGUA, which gives me 10 inches of, um, of extension, so if I need to pull the rack further out, I can still get the drum further in. Gives it kind of a different look, which I actually really like. Moving over to the floor tom side, we have the 12 inch rack tom that's mounted to the front leg the same exact way as the 10 inch rack tom is. I'm using the SC LGUA mounting directly off that front leg. Now I have my right main crash mounted out of the front leg. Then I've got my ride off the crossbar, another auxiliary right auxiliary crash off the crossbar, my X hat off the crossbar, and then a china directly out of the back leg. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I just showed you guys a number of ways that the GCS 302C can be used. It can be used as a front curved rack, just holding two rack toms, three toms, two to three, four, five cymbals if you want, or you can turn it into a two-sided rack or a three-sided rack to expand your kit. If you don't want to borrow the bass drum, you can also utilize it as a side rack on each side to change the look of your kit. It's all up to you because Gibraltar offers nothing but options.